what's up guys welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video today we're doing something a little bit different we're out here in daytona beach look at that view guys so this is the first time that i've ever been to daytona beach well actually you know i have been to daytona beach before but this is the first time actually at the beach every time we've come it's always just been a really quick trip so today we get to enjoy the beach so that hotel right there off in the distance is where we're staying that's the delta next to it this huge condominium complex and another one right there imagine waking up every morning to that guys the view from our room is really great we get to wake up and see the beach every single day this is what we get to wake up to and see and enjoy it's amazing it's beautiful out here we haven't really explored all of daytona beaches as yet one of our servers told us that there's a hard rock somewhere down there um there's more condos this way the whole shoreline is just amazing out here guys if you're ever looking for a vacation spot definitely check out daytona beach florida it's a nice vibe out here one of the coolest things about daytona beach that i've noticed is that you can actually drive on the beach now down in fort lauderdale and south beach you could cruise down a1a but out here you can actually cruise down the beach in your car they have a speed limit 10 miles per hour i don't know if you guys can see it off in the distance right there it says post the speed limit 10 miles per hour so there's a lot of people with electric bikes that cruise down the beach and you could also cruise in your car down the beach as well daytona beach is also famous for its racetrack daytona international speedway but i think that they might have raced down on the beach before in our hotel we saw a few photos of them actually racing on the beach going up and down the beach like they were racing airplanes and stuff like that so it's really cool to actually be here and see as you guys can see it's really flat here it's not like clumpy like other beaches i don't know how back in the 20s and 30s they would have got traction on this but somehow they were able to do it so there it is cam showing you what the sand looked like out here it's almost like quicksand like kind of so yeah it looks like they used to race up and down here all the time um back in the day i couldn't imagine doing it now but uh yeah really cool vibe out here at daytona beach there's a lot of planes going by as well too so there's a lot to see out here it's really peaceful a lot a very nice change from fort lauderdale beach um where it's a little bit more quiet out here a little bit more tranquil and um cold in the water yeah the water is a little bit colder as well but it's nice you know it's nice the waves are a little bit choppy i don't know if that's just because of today um or the weather for the past week one of the most peaceful beaches that we've been to is in palm beach some of the beaches in palm beach are very calm uh here it's a little bit more choppy i don't know that's probably just because of the weather but yeah it's still really nice still really enjoyable you can still go in perfect for kids as well cam is out there right now but yeah definitely a good vibe just to kind of show you guys something it's the middle of december literally one week before christmas and this is florida weather for you how beautiful is that guys Florida is flexing right now with this weather. Completely clear skies, blue skies, Atlantic Ocean that way. Just beautiful in the middle of December. Florida flexing once again. Just like I was telling you guys, see there's a car cruising down the beach. So the speed limit's 10 miles per hour, but somehow back in the day, I believe they used to go a lot faster down here. Yeah, the S2000 would never make it over here still, but but yeah, it's still a really cool vibe. There's a sign about two miles that way that says that this is the world's most famous beach. I don't know if that's still true to this day, but I suppose at one point it probably was the world's most famous beach. Funny story about Daytona Beach. So I believe it's Simply Clean or there's always like a huge car show usually in Daytona Beach or close to Daytona Beach every year. And a lot of guys with their lowered and slammed cars would go on the beach and take photos of their cars because as you guys can see you can cruise up and down the beach so they would come more so this way where it's a little bit more wet and as you can see as you could imagine a lowered car and trying to catch traction on this would probably be an issue <laughs> so so a lot of guys would try to go out really close to the water with their cars and end up getting stuck i guess when you think about it it's not that funny but it is kind of funny to think that people would actually do that if you ever did that and you're watching this video i'm sorry i'm not clowning you or anything like that but i'm not taking that chance <laughs> never in a million years so as you guys can see cam is out there in the water having a great time i was in there earlier it might be a little bit cold now when i hop back in but hey when in daytona oh yeah that's pretty cold 
but on a hot day like today it actually feels really great like i said before the waves are a little bit choppy so i gotta make sure i don't drop the phone in here because if i do drop the phone in here chances are we'll never see this footage oh yeah that's pretty cold there's a lot of planes that pass by as you guys can see the jet streams hey oh oh <laughs> that's pretty cold some pretty nice views out here guys listen i apologize for the audio i do not have a mic this is kind of like an impromptu video as you guys can see in the background there's people on motorcycles riding on the beach but yeah this is kind of like an impromptu video i wasn't expecting to film so i apologize if the audio is bad on this video i don't have my mic on me i wasn't prepared but just figured to show you guys these views middle of december like i said if you ever need a vacation spot be sure to add daytona beach to your list and you know your boy scuba is always looking out for you so fellas if you ever need a spot to take your significant other daytona beach is a vibe damn those waves are brutal oh. yeah live it up my boy I'm a island boy. yeah you know what i'm gonna get out of here before i drop this phone i'm gonna check back in with you guys a little bit later someone tell me how he fell someone tell me how did he fall <laughs> come on come on aquaman aquaman this is as far as i can go because i can't risk i can't risk it for the biscuit oh, okay all right I have my little... down to the Wait, su hey 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 oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey down to the socks like a baby poppy and my tommy but Get it, get it, hey, get, oh. You guys remember having good knees like that? I can't, I can't do that no more. I can't, do, this is as far as I go, ah. Another thing that I really love about Daytona Beach is that the shore is actually very long. So, as you guys can see, the hotel is all the way back in the distance. Uh, I would say that's maybe about a little bit less than an eighth of a mile to where we are. And if you swing around, this is where it starts at low tide. I just survived this huge big wave. <laughs> you did? I went underwater and it took me underwater. Oh, my back! So yeah, I love that. It gives you the sense that you're really far out. Like, you know, like, let's back up a little bit. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So, swing around. The hotel is all the way back here. I'm barely in the water as yet. Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale Beach, Miami Beach. Well, Miami Beach is a little bit longer, I think, but... A lot of beaches around you're gonna still really feel like you're close to the hotels and everything that's going on on the strip out here by daytona beach you feel like you're a lot further away from everything that's going on so it feels a little bit more peaceful a little bit more serene and tranquil which to me growing up in jamaica that's kind of how beaches were right and that's kind of the beauty of the beach so it really kind of gives you that island vibe as if you're an island boy Another cool thing about Daytona Beach is that you could tap dance right on the beach. Yep. <laughs> it looks like happy feet. <laughs> so guys, it's almost the end of 2021. I hope you guys are all staying safe, staying healthy. Let me know what you guys have planned for the new year. Let me know in the comments below. For now, let's enjoy some beach views. have for 2022 cam uh, I be a what professional gamer. what professional gamer we can't hear you professional gamer that's right you got to say it like you mean it speak it into existence so what game do you play Fortnite. and what do you love about Fortnite now I used to get victory royals um I unlock just a spider-man okay. level 90 something 
when I get to Bones Rewards, I'll be level 300. So hopefully we can see you soon, professional gamer. Yay! So it's almost the end of 2021, guys. And I really appreciate all the support and love this year for the channel. Thank you for helping it to continue to grow. I hope that in 2022, we can grow even bigger, guys. I'm going to be starting to film a lot more. I know I said that in 2021 as well. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It takes a second of your time and it's free. And you'll be notified every single time I drop a new video. Let's run it up, guys. Make that subscriber count go up, up, up. And let's get it stuck. And <laughs> let's get it stuck. Let's hope that it gets stuck there too. So yeah, guys, like I told you, there's cars that could cruise up and down the beach. How cool is that, guys? This is where the cars can cruise up and down. Traffic lanes right here. Really, really cool vibe, guys. Airplanes flying in the sky. Can you guys tell he's having a good time? So guys, this is our view from the room. How nice is that view, guys? And as you guys can see out there, there's boats in the distance. Look how beautiful that horizon is, guys. It's a little bit calmer now. The water is a little bit calmer. At least it looks calmer from up here than it was before. So right next to a resort, there are condos over there. I could really get used to waking up to this every single day. Like I said, these beaches kind of remind me of Jamaica because it's more secluded a little bit. I know, you know, Florida is not, Florida is not that far from JA anyways, but look how beautiful it is out here, guys. So oh, please excuse the sand that I got all over me. We just came inside to have a little lunch and stuff and just chill for a little bit. And who knows, we might hit the beach a little bit later. We plan on exploring Daytona today, a little bit later today. And then, and then you can uh, see the track. Yeah, maybe we can see the International Speedway. So yeah, we're definitely gonna try to see the International Speedway since we are in Daytona, if it is close. I suspect that it is pretty close, so we'll definitely go check that out. Um, and then probably go sightsee a little bit more of Daytona. That Jeep, oh. Oh, wait, focus. Ah, there we go. That red on red was looking really nice. But yeah, guys, I love chilling out here. It's so nice, yo. It's beautiful weather. And I can't stress it enough. And the view from the room is just epic. So guys, it's a little bit later in the day now. I just woke up from a nap. The beach earlier knocked us out. Check that out guys, the moon's out and the sun hasn't even set us yet. How cool is that? Wow, how nice is that? Look at the horizon guys, the clouds. How nice is that guys? Whoa. So apparently they shut down the beach after a certain while so you can no longer drive on it. And just like that on cue, the lifeguard is there to shut it all down. Looks like this person is getting the news. But still, how cool is that? Really brings a new meaning to cruising down the beach. Moon's still out, bright, and it's daylight. How beautiful is that, guys? Wow. I see you, Florida. I see you, Daytona Beach. Oh wow, looks like they gotta turn around. How nice is that, guys? And all those seagulls right there. They all just took off. They were all chilling. I've never seen that before. A bunch of seagulls just in one place chilling. That was pretty cool to see, actually. What's up guys? Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's the next day. We're still here in Daytona Beach and there's a lot more people on the beach today. So today we actually see people pulled up on the beach. Looks like people are fishing out there. I didn't even know that you could do that. But if you look out in the distance, you can see there's actually people parked up today. Chilling, fishing, cars parked everywhere. So it's the weekend. So there's a lot more people on the beach today. Can't, 
Cam just spotted something special on the beach. Oh, what do you see? I see snow cone ice cream. Hey. It's like a snow cone truck. What? Slushy. Oh, snap. They've even got the ice cream truck rolling on the beach. <laughs> it's been a really cool couple of days. Like none of us even want to go back home. Okay, I would definitely recommend Daytona Beach for anyone looking for a nice getaway. So guys, it's the next day and we decided to spend another family day at the beach. Now what I was trying to tell you guys yesterday is that a lot of guys will pull up by the beach to try to get photo ops with their cars. Check the sand out right here. It's kind of like quicksand. I don't know if you guys could tell, but see how quick, see how quick my foot gets buried in that sand. So when the tide comes in, if you're parked up right here, trying to get a photo op of your car, chances are your tires are just gonna get submerged as soon as that tide comes in. And by the time you try to get your car out of here, you're gonna have no traction. I'm not dissing anyone who chose to get photo ops out here with their cars, but personally, I wouldn't. Check this out, guys. See how quick? Not exactly, but it's very comparable to quicksand out here. So I would never ever pull up here to try to get a photo op of my car, especially with a lowered car. I don't know if you guys can see behind me, there's a lot more people on the beach, a lot more cars pulled up on the beach today. Beautiful Saturday. and. People can actually pull up on Daytona Beach and fish and stuff like that. So that is really, really cool. This is a little bit cloudier than yesterday, like I said, but it's still beautiful. Middle of December. Check these views out, guys. Where else in the U.S. do you have views like this? Now, I know there are some great places in the U.S. where you have wonderful beaches, but I'm telling you, that sea breeze coming in, I wish you guys could be here to feel it. That breeze coming in and hearing those waves crashing out there. It's just a beautiful feeling to have this type of weather in the middle of December. So guys, the ice cream truck came back around and you know your boy had to get some. Nothing like shaved ice on a hot sunny day. It's really windy, so it's a little bit chilly now with the shaved ice. But of course, I had to go with the mango flavor, the Rosati shaved ice. Cam had to pull up with the snow cone on a hot sunny day. Yep, it's really, not even hot. It's, it's, it's actually kind of windy and the water is really cold, but yep. still. Can you blame us though, guys? Can you blame us? <laughs> I don't, I don't blame us. <laughs> Check that out, guys. Those are all seagulls right down there. Now, I'm not sure what they're doing, but they're all just chilling all in a line. I don't know if anyone's feeding them or what the deal is, but look how cool that is, guys. I've never seen anything like that before. Guys, so we had a great time here in Daytona Beach. Today's our last day in da Daytona Beach. It was an amazing trip, an amazing four days. Thanks to this woman right here. We came hey. for her birthday. <laughs> Anybody yeah. needs a, a travel planner? I'm your girl. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Cameron loved the view. He woke up this morning and went straight to the balcony up there to come and look at this view. Yeah. It's so sad that we have to say goodbye. But just like that, guys, we reached the end of today's video. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Peace.